Hi there, my name is Jenna Cameron with Metaflix and I have the pleasure of being here with Dr. Matthew Fold today. He is the Director of Product Marketing over Neotome for Siemens. We have this wonderful CT machine behind us, the Neotome Alpha Peep. Talk to me a little bit about this technology and RSNA as a whole and uh, how the show is going for you so far. Yeah, great to be here with you. We are very excited here at RSNA 2024. We, we launched the original photon counting scanner, the world's first, the Natum Alpha, in 2021. And it was we are the OG. Yeah, so 2021. In 2021, so it's been three years. Yeah. Uh, th since then, we've scanned 1.2 million patients, wow. 550 scientific publications with profound clinical impact really enabling physicians to see the unseen, to be conclusive in every scan. We see the impact of the technology and see that our customers need it to be able to provide this level of technology to their customers. And so for us, it's a commitment. We feel a responsibility. To do that, we need to make sure that it's not one scanner. It's not only the Naysom Alpha, and that's what we've done here at RSNA. We've expanded it to an entire class of scanners. And walk me through that. So why is it important um, to be nimble, to have different types of scanners? What kinds of different um, applications are you seeing for each scanner? Walk me through that. For sure. We, we, ha we have three scanners at three different price points and three different clinical capabilities. The, the biggest way to differentiate, how fast do you need to go? What clinical cases do you have? Do you need the fastest scanner in the world? The Natum Alpha Peak at 74 centimeters per second. Do you need dual source, but maybe you want a lower entry point in price? We have the Natum Alpha Pro, and we have the world's first single source photon counting CT, the Natum Alpha Prime. Those are practices who don't need speed of dual source. Oncology, MSK, neurology, where you don't need temporal resolution for cardiac, but you want the power, the capability of photon counting. Seeing the unseen, 0.2 millimeter spatial resolution, seeing those pancreatic ducts. Is it a tumor? Is it a cyst? Can I differentiate it? Traditionally, we would send people to other tests. Here, I can make the difference. I have the power with photon counting, and I can scale it. How fast do you need to go? Cardiac, non-cardiac, and in the middle. Can you go through photon counting with me on a basic level? On a basic level. Yeah, so I, I don't have a chalkboard here, so okay. we won't put any equations up. Okay, great. The benefit of photon counting is that in a traditional scanner, you don't directly measure the x-rays. You convert them to light first, and then you measure them. And that has a lot of weaknesses. With photon counting, we measure every single x-ray as it hits, which is why it's called photon counting, because we actually count each individual one. And what does it give you? Much higher spatial resolution, no electronic noise, better contrast resolution, means less iodinated contrast, everybody wants to use less, and lower dose with spectral information every time. And so we had dual source CT for many years. We introduced that in 2005 and the speed, but it was always, do you want fastest speed or spectral information? With this technology, had to choose before. you get both. Yeah. There's no more compromises. Higher resolution, lower radiation dose, lower contrast dose with all the information. Yeah, so less waste, uh, less use, um, better quality um, images in a clinical perspective. And then also it sounds like patient safety. For sure. All of these things, and these are technical things that help you get to the real crux, which is we want to deliver better care to patients. We want to get them to the right treatment at the right time. There are many scenarios where we've had bad information before. We've had images where surgeons would be unclear whether or not they should do a surgery. They go in, they open someone up, and they shouldn't have. Now we can see and make a plan this patient should go to surgery. This one should not. This patient does not need a diagnostic cath. We know that their coronary arteries are clear and they can just go home, get a statin. So it's the power to change patient care pathways by having better information. So by increasing um, you know, providers' confidence that they're making the right decision for the patient, um, is that, is that Exactly right. They, they have a substantially higher confidence in what they're doing. They have less ambiguity. They aren't asking for more downstream tests, which causes waste in the health system. Yeah, and also more burnout, which we're already experiencing because then people are doing things they don't need to do from the patient perspective, but then also from the provider perspective and their teams. Exactly, and for the patient, it means an answer today 
not an answer in three weeks when you get scheduled for the next exam. So you improve their experience, you make it better for the physician because they can be confident in what they're saying, and we reduce waste overall. What has been the highlight of this year's RSNA and what you're looking forward to the most in the year to come? Really at RSNA 2024 this year, the highlight is that I can finally talk about this publicly. We have been bringing this message of photon counting to a wide audience for the last three years. We've been telling partners about the future and what we're gonna bring, and that future is here. The Naatum Alpha class is here. We have three scanners, three different speeds, meets your clinical needs to answer all of those questions, get that profound clinical impact to the patients who need it. It has been a pleasure speaking with you today, Matt. And I can't wait to see you again next year. Yes, you too. Thank you so much.